Hi, today we are going to learn about identifying constructions. Let's look at a problem. Solve, construct a perpendicular through a point on the line. Let us follow these steps of instructions mentioned here in order to construct a perpendicular through a point on the line. First step says draw a line and take any point P on it. So let us draw a line and let me take any point P on this line. Place your compass point on P and sweep an arc of any size that crosses the line twice. So you need to place your compass point on P point here and open a little radius of the compass and just make an arc over this line. It should cross this line twice. So, in short, we can say you will be creating a semicircle over here. This arc can be over the line or below the line. That's up to you. Second step says stretch the compass larger. Now, when it says stretch the compass larger, it means that while creating the perpendicular through a point on the line, the distance should be more than half of the line you have taken. So stress the compass larger. Now place the compass point where the arc crossed the line on one side. Let me take first of all this side. You place your compass point here and make a small arc below the line. Like this. Without changing the span on the compass, place the compass point where the arc crossed the line on the other side and make another arc. Now, you need to take your compass point on the other intersecting point here and you need to make another arc which intersects the previous arc. These arcs can be made above the line as well. So, below the line or above the line. Your two small arcs should be crossing. So, they are crossing here. With your straight edge, straight edge, connect the intersection of the two small arcs to the point P. So, I will draw a straight line through this. So, this new line is the perpendicular to the given line. So, if we draw these arcs above the line from this point here and from this point here, we will get the perpendicular above the line. Let me draw again. Through this point, through this point here and you will get the perpendicular above the line. So, we can create a perpendicular through a point on the line either above it or below it. Let's look at the next problem. Solve. Construct an angle bisector. Let's follow the steps of construction to construct an angle bisector. First, draw an angle. Let me draw any angle. Second is place the compass point on the angle's vertex. So need, you need to place your compass point here. Set the compass to any convenient width. So you need to open it to any convenient width. Open it a little bit and draw an arc across each leg. So you need to draw, place your compass point here at this point, vertex of the angle and draw an arc which crosses both of the legs of the angle. Now compass can be adjusted at this point if desired. If you want to adjust it, adjust. Otherwise this distance is also okay. This width is also okay. Now as we did in the previous problem from this arc from one point draw an arc and from another point also draw an arc. So let's see from where an arc crosses a leg Make an arc in the angle's interior. 
from this point draw an arc without changing the compass width repeat for the other leg so from this point also draw an arc draw a straight line from the vertex to the point where these arcs cross so the line just drawn bisects the angle So this is how we need to create an angle bisector. Let's look at the next problem. Solve. Construct the perpendicular bisector. Let's look at the steps of construction. Draw any line given. So I draw any line given. Place the compass point on one end of the line. So let me put my compass point here. Adjust the compass to just over half the line length. So maybe this is the half of the line, then just a little bit more than half of this. And draw an arc on each side of the line. So from this point, using this width, more than half, a little half of the line, one arc here and one arc here now without changing the compass width repeat for the other end of the line so width will be same and i'll place my compass point here and draw an arc here and draw an arc here which crosses the previous two arcs now draw a straight line between the two arc intersections This can be done using your straight edge. Thus the line we get is the perpendicular bisector of the given line. So the new line we get is the perpendicular bisector of the given line. I hope you can practice more problems on identifying constructions now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.